In order for you to have the language skills of a native speaker of English, I recommend that you keep expanding your knowledge of idioms and common English expressions. In this video, I will teach you 20 different ways that native speakers of English use the word deal to mean many different things. Some of these expressions are commonly used in business situations, but many of them are also used for other everyday situations. Let's get started. The first expression is, it's a deal. It's a deal. When you make an agreement, when you agree to do something, you want to say, okay, let's go, let's do it. You can say, it's a deal. I would like to buy your car for $5,000. And the other person says, it's a deal. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to the mountains next weekend. It's a deal. Sure. It can be used for other situations, not just for business. You can also say, let's make a deal. Let's come to an agreement. Let's make a deal. I would like to pay $5,000 for your car. And the other person says, no, no, I would like to get $6,000 for my car. And you can say, let's make a deal. How about $5,500? let us make a deal. And then when you agree, you can say, okay, it's a deal. The next two expressions are used similarly. It's a good deal. It's a great deal. That means it's a very good price. When you buy something and you save a lot of money and you're very happy about how much you paid, you can say, I got a really good deal. You got a really good deal on that car. You got a great deal on that car. I got a lot of good deals at the shopping mall last weekend. And let's say the sentence again. I got a lot of good deals at the shopping mall last weekend. The next expression is a great deal of. A great deal of. And that means a lot of. Much. Many. Children have a great deal of energy. He has a great deal of money. And that simply means he has a lot of money. The next expression is, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. And that means it is finalized. It is finished. The agreement cannot be changed. You can't change your mind. It's a done deal. After you sign the contract, it's a done deal. After you sign the contract, it's a done deal. And if you notice my pronunciation of the word deal, I didn't say deal. It's not deal. Don't touch your tongue and then release it. It's not deal. We're going to say deal, deal. We're going to prolong the vowel and then we're going to add another little extra vowel, deal, deal. And the L is going to be very soft. That's the American dark L. So don't release your tongue. We don't say feel, will. We say feel, wheel, deal. It's a done deal. The next expression is to wheel and deal. To wheel and deal. And that means when you do business, when a person is dishonest and they only want to benefit themselves, they manipulate the deal. They wheel and deal. And they try to control the situation. You have to be careful about people like that. He made a lot of money by wheeling and dealing but he lost a lot of friends. Let's connect a lot of money and let's say a lot of money, a lot of money. And let's connect a lot of friends, a lot of friends, lost a lot of friends. And let's repeat the sentence. He made a lot of money by wheeling and dealing, but he lost a lot of friends. And the person who wheels and deals is called a wheeler dealer. Let's say that, a wheeler dealer. Someone who's very good at cheating people financially for their own profit. They manipulate people for money. 
wheeler dealer. Stay away from that salesman. He's a wheeler dealer. And let's stress the word sales. And by the way, we're not going to say salesman. We're going to reduce the word man and we're going to say men, salesman, salesman. Let's say the sentence again. Stay away from that salesman. He's a wheeler dealer. The next expression is to sweeten the deal. To sweeten the deal. When you're making some kind of deal, when you're selling something and you want to make it more attractive to the buyer, you add something extra. You give something more. You sweeten the deal. This expression is used in a financial situation or in negotiation to sweeten the deal. The seller of the house sweetened the deal by offering to leave some furniture. Let's say that again. The seller of the house sweetened the deal by offering to leave some furniture. The next expression is, it's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. A deal breaker is a specific issue that will cause the deal to end. Because of this one thing, you don't want to continue anymore. This expression is also used for romantic situations. When you're dating somebody and you find out something and you don't want to continue anymore, that's a deal breaker. When he told his girlfriend that he doesn't want to have children, that was a deal breaker for her. And deal breaker is a compound noun, so we stress the first word, deal breaker. And girlfriend is also a compound noun, so we stress girl. And let's repeat the sentence. When he told his girlfriend that he doesn't want to have children, that was a deal breaker for her. The next expression is to close the deal. To reach an agreement and to end the negotiation. To close the deal. After many months of negotiation, we finally close the deal. After many months of negotiation, we finally close the deal. The next expression is a shady deal. A shady deal. When you think something dishonest or illegal is going on, a contract that makes you think that something bad is going on. You don't trust the person. It's a shady deal. Something is not right. The politician was involved in many shady deals with the construction companies. Let's say that sentence again. The politician was involved in many shady deals with the construction companies. Let's talk about some other expressions with the word deal that are not necessarily used for business. No big deal. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. It's not a problem. It's not inconvenient for me. It's okay. It's no big deal. Thank you for driving me to the airport. It's no big deal. The airport is on my way to work. And let's say that again. Thank you for driving me to the airport. It's no big deal. The airport is on my way to work. And the expression, it's no big deal, has another meaning. The second meaning is, it's not serious. It's not important. I heard you're sick. Are you okay? It's no big deal. It's just a cold. It's no big deal. It's just a cold. Is your car badly damaged from the accident? It's no big deal. There's just a scratch. It's no big deal. There's just a scratch. It's not serious.
You can also say to someone, don't make such a big deal out of it. Relax, it's not such a big deal. Don't make a big crisis out of a small situation. Don't make a big deal out of it. The next expression is to deal with someone or to deal with something. And that means to accept it, to be able to handle it. I can't handle it. I can't deal with it. You need to learn to deal with that difficult situation. It's no problem. I can deal with it. I can't deal with this traffic anymore. I can't deal with this traffic anymore. And the next expression is to deal cards. When you're playing cards with people and one person gives the cards to everybody else, that person deals the cards. It's your turn to deal the cards. It's your turn to deal the cards. And the next word you probably know, actually it has two meanings. The first meaning is someone who sells illegal drugs. That person is a drug dealer. The drug dealer got arrested for dealing drugs. The drug dealer got arrested for dealing drugs. And the other meaning of dealer is someone who sells cars. It can be a person or the company. The car dealer gave me a great deal. The car dealer gave me a great deal. That means he sold me the car at a good price. And the next word is dealership. A dealership is the place where you go to buy the car. There's a big Toyota dealership near my house. There's a big Toyota dealership near my house. And the final expression is the real deal. It's the real deal. He's the real deal. And that means when something is authentic, when it's excellent, when it's genuine, you can say it's the real deal. It's true. It's exact. It's not fake. It's not an imitation. It's exactly the way it should be. It's the real deal. This expression is used for a person or a thing that is seen as authentic, not inferior in any way. He's an expert. He's the real deal. That politician is honest and he speaks from his heart. He's the real deal. I saw a jazz musician at the club last night. He's the real deal. I saw a jazz musician at the club last night. He's the real deal. Practice using these common expressions as much as possible so that you can sound like a native speaker. And if you like these videos and they are helping you, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can find out when I post my next video. Thanks for watching and keep practicing. To learn all of the rules for a good American accent, you can buy my online video courses at accurateenglish.com.